Uh, all of these people are tied uh, to my meeting with Tim Franks. Uh, I'm like four or five years older than him, which doesn't seem like a lot now. But at the time, I was 16. And he was like, you know, 11, 12 years old, maybe 10, 11. And I worked at a video store in their squat little shit splat town that my mom had moved us to. And at that time in the mid 80s, like there weren't a lot of people there. I mean, everybody else cross country had VCRs. Not a lot of people there did. So it's a perfect job for a movie loving kid like me. Because most of the time I would just sit in there and watch movies and maybe rent videos to two or three rednecks. Most of them uh, filing through our porno cabinet. And uh, Tim was this kid that would show up and just nonstop badger me with dumb questions. And uh, I really hated the people of that town. And just because when you're new and you're not embraced by people in that way, or just you're put off by people and you don't know anybody. And that was my little perfect haven was this job that paid $3 an hour that let me just watch movies. And uh, he was relentless. You know I mean? How did you get this job? I want your job. Like, you know what I mean? So... One day he comes in and he picks up the box for uh, Hellraiser, which had just come out on video, and I'd watched it like five times. I love that movie. And he's like, what's this? And I'm like, sit down. I'm about to show you. So I popped it in because at that time, you could. it's just crazy to me that I would show a, a kid who probably had no frame of reference for anything that crazy. And uh, he just sat there quiet and watched the entire thing. Like, I couldn't believe he made it through the whole thing. And then afterwards, he was just freaking out. He's like, oh my God, that was amazing. Is there any more like this? No, kid, there aren't. And you're actually the coolest kid in this town. And so I started palling around with him because he was the coolest kid in town. And that's how I met everybody else was through Tim. It feels great because... Um this version of the company has been something that I've been trying to put together with various incarnations of friends doing various things over the years. Um, some incarnations were like that, like, oh man, we're going to do this one day and nothing ever panned out. And then other versions of it like started, but never flourished to anything. And I think that this is so far the best, version that I've, I've come up with you know with Trent like it started off like Trent and I sitting out on the porch and we were having a discussion after he moved back to Ohio and then I was like I want to start a company and he had something that he was trying to do with other friends and then um, but at that time it wasn't really panning out so it was like we were discussing like you know, our overall visions of how a company would function with a group of friends and, you know, wanting it to be some of the most talented and energetic people we know. And so it started off with a few ideas and then flourished and then we started bringing in people, you know, you know, that were already like attached to Trent's original concept and people that I wanted to bring in that had been attached to previous uh, incarnations of the company and so we're here today and it, it, it's fun it's stressful um, you know anyone starting up a company I'd probably say you know there, there's a lot of compromise because sometimes you have a vision and they have a vision and like especially when it comes to projects that you're trying to develop and then you know, for anyone out there trying to do that and like getting held up on the fact that you're like, well, that's not what I wanted it to be. Just make both. Make both and see how those projects, you know, how entertaining and how much fun those projects can be both ways and, and go from there. It's a lot of compromise. It's a lot of hard work. And like sometimes you find yourself, you know, further behind the eight ball than you want to be and then you find... You know, other things where you're like, wow, that was really easy. And I didn't think that it would move as fast as it does. So for me, this is the version of the company in long and short that I always was trying to work towards. Um, they're, you know, yeah, so that. 
I met everybody through Trent. Um, I met Trent because of where we worked. We worked together. And it's actually a really funny story because when I first met him, I didn't like him too much. He he just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. You know how somebody, you know, just... And, and he tried to, like, hit on me and stuff. And I would just blow it off. And then, you know, I was in a really good mood one day. And I was just like, okay. And I actually got to talking to him. And he was actually a really cool person. And I'm actually married to him now. Um, I met everybody else a year ago. We moved up here a year ago. And Curtis had all of us over for to play Dungeons and Dragons. And that was actually my first time ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. And that's how I got to met, meet everybody. Um, we actually met through my husband and through gaming. Um, yeah. Recording. You guys recording? I will leave it to your business. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Okay, hold up. Number one? Number one. Okay. How did you meet all the guys and gal that you're in business? I met all of them, um, would have been 1989. I was working at a small IGA store in the town we grew up in. And I met them all through a mutual friend of ours, Dave. Dave said, hey, I'm going over to a place, you want to come along? And they just happened to be playing D&D that night. Um, they said, hey, you're here, play this. And they handed me a character sheet. It was all Greek to me. I had no clue what was on it. I'm like, sure, what do I do? They said, well, we're fighting a dragon right now and we really need some help. Okay. Um, I said, so pick up one of those big dies and roll it. And the very, this is where everybody swears I sold my soul to the devil. I have an unnatural ability to roll 20s. The very first roll I ever rolled was a natural 20. And they said, what do you want to do? I said, they said you're not really close enough to attack the dragon. I said, I throw my axe at its head. And they said, okay, roll. Natural 20, first roll ever, killed a dragon, and really pissed off the DM. <laughs> Which I believe was da uh, John at the time. So, um, been hooked since. So through, through Dave, I met John and Tim and Randy. And then four to five months later, I met Trent. Uh, I didn't meet Siege until we started playing World of Warcraft together. So that's probably 10 to 15 years later. And that just leaves you. I met you about a year ago. How did I meet these guys? All right, so it's kind of a funny story. Um, it all started in, I think it was seventh grade, maybe eighth grade. Um, I was in art class. And, you know, at the small little school in Millersburg, Ohio, little elementary school, um, we were sitting in groups at tables and we were, in, we were doing pottery. Um, we had to do mold shit out of clay and, and like, and make something that we we're going to kill and we we're going to fire it in the kiln and paint it and then take it home for our parents or whatever. So I'm at this table with a group of people and, uh, I, you know, I was pretty much an introvert growing up. Like I didn't really, I'm not like I am now. I very much like, uh, kept to myself, didn't really talk to many people, didn't have a whole lot of friends. Um, and I'm sitting there and I'm working on this thing and I'm, I'm building myself a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's what I wanted to build. I was big into the Ninja Turtles. And I was like in the process of making a shell and everything else. And I look over and the guy sitting next to me is um, skinny, lanky, tall kid sitting there and he's forming some kind of like animal out of his clay. And I kind of looked at him and I said, well, what are you making? And uh, he looked at me and he, 
Tim, it was Tim, spins at me and he kind of looks at me with this look on his face, kind of like, you, you're you very sure he doesn't live on the same planet as you? And he was like, I'm making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Elephant. And I said, I'm making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It went cool and cool. And we've been friends ever since, pretty much. That's exactly how I met Tim. Um, we have been close friends ever since that day. And then I moved away when I was freshman year to Florida, came back up here to Ohio um, my senior year, junior year, can't remember which one, and reconnected with Tim. And we were hanging out at school one day and he was like, hey, you know, we're playing this thing called Dungeons and Dragons. You should come over and check it out. So I'm like, all right, sure. I got nothing going on on a Friday night. Why not? So I went over there and hung out and played Dungeons and Dragons for the first time. And that's where I met Curtis. And that's where I met Bob. And uh, I met all of our friends there that we've been friends with forever. So Curtis, Bob, John, all those guys I met through gaming. That's how it all started. Um, and we were we were a ragtag band of lunatics, man. I mean, seriously, you know, we were all the kids that just didn't fit in anywhere. So we kind of formed our own little group of of friends. You know what I mean? And we would we'd go down to the freaking local video store. Yes, I'm that old that there were actual video stores. Um, we'd rent like horrible movies. The subspecies movies is ones that, that pops in my head. These terrible B-rated like vampire flicks. And we'd sit at Tim's and just watch those movies and game all the time, man. And like, you know, I developed probably the closest friendships I've ever had in my entire life with these guys as a result. You know, it was, it was pretty amazing. You grow up in a small town with nothing else to do. I mean, you know, most, most of Millersburg, Ohio is made up of cow pasture. You know what I mean? It really is not, it's not a bustling city by any sense of the word. So, you know, you, there wasn't a whole lot for anybody creative or th who thought outside the box and didn't want to go hunting or fishing um, or sit on the corner drinking every day. Um, there wasn't a whole lot for you to do. And, and I think it's amazing that like this collective of extremely creative insane people got together and like formed this group of friendship and this little circle of friendship and brotherhood really that has stood the test of time. I mean, that was, I met Tim whenever I was 12, maybe 13 and what I'm 43 now. And like we're, we spent 20 years apart and I showed up here, he showed up at the house and we talked to almost three in the morning. You know what I mean? It was like, we never left. It, it's crazy. You know what I mean? It's, you know, people talk about the lifelong friends you make, when you're in high school and how rare they are. And I'm lucky because I've got all my friends from high school are lifelong friends. You know, the, the it's, it's fantastic. Couldn't ask for anything more.